hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Amore Love and today we are going to be trimming our hair all over again now I might have a bone to pick with you if you have not gotten a trim since my last trim video why am I here why am I helping if you're not gonna take the tips have you gotten a trim since my last trim video you remember this thumbnail and you ain't got no trim since then girl today is the day go get your scissors have straight hair or however you gonna wear your hair go do it right now and we will go step by step together because since then i have not trimmed my ends and it is time again to trim my ends so that is what we're going to do today and we're just going to get straight to the point let's go so first thing i want to do is detangle my hair starting from the ends and then i'll give you guys a close-up on what my ends is actually looking like right now because definitely need some TLC. Look at the static in my hair. <laughs> I'll put some dry shampoo in my hair because it's almost time to wash. I'm just detangling my hair. It's been a minute. I don't really detangle my hair on a daily basis. <laughs> I'd just be scared of breakage because I'm definitely wearing it straight on a regular basis as well. So just anything I can do to not touch it is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna give you guys a very good close-up of what my ends are looking like right now because they need some TLC. So as you can see, it's looking a little scraggly, you know. I mean, don't mind the static is looking a little bit more crazy than normal, but it's just cause like the static, but they looking a little frizzy. They looking a little dry. They looking a little frayed. And some of them have tree branches and some of them are just split and some are just a little on the dry side. So we're not going to do too much down here cause this still feels nice, but all up in here, I'm going to point cut and trim. So now that we see a nice looking before, we're going to get started. So I need a clip. First thing we're going to do is take our hair at our temples like so and go all the way around and connect. Just so you have a top portion and a bottom portion the dry shampoo is making my hair hard to maneuver because it takes away all the slip because y'all see my dry shampoo video if you haven't go watch it because yes us black girls can wear dry shampoo too <laughs> so we're gonna start right here mind you my, the back of my hair is a uh, real frizzy and poofy because of you know what happens when you go in the shower and stuff like i've been wearing my hair straight for like a week and a half at this point so it's just time to trim because i'm tired of looking at it so what i'm going to do is detangle again just to make sure i just want to look at it real quick as a whole you want to really inspect what you have you know yeah so i have some stuff to do up in here so what we're gonna do is take half and half like so I'm just going like this it doesn't have to be too neat because this is just like a light dusting of a trim if you want a haircut haircut I suggest you go to a hairstylist who is experienced and know what she's doing you know and has receipts on her previous work or his previous work just because haircut haircuts if you're cutting off a lot you know you want to be a little bit more tedious when you're sectioning but for trims and light dusting just for like some little maintenance until you can get to your stylist we're gonna do slightly chunky vertical sections from the top to the bottom like so and then taking my comb and I'm just gonna go out and I'm gonna hold it like this and bend my finger so it turns into like a little wispy fan. And I'm just gonna look and see what needs to be cut. And then I kind of like to go in a like this while I'm going like this. So we're not gonna just go like that. We're not doing that. We're just gonna halfway close the shears like this, like bouncing them while you're going through. 
and then if you see anything that's still split then you want to take vertically and just lightly point cut through the section if you're not trying to take off that much length if you don't really care then yeah you can go back and repeat until you don't see any otherwise if you're trying to keep the length point cut a little bit or just take your time and literally snip off the little ones that you see that are left so what I'm gonna do is go like this so now that we have that I could even it out a lot but I'm not really trying to do all that because I don't like my trims to look like full-on haircuts when I'm done um, so I do see a few haircuts I mean <laughs> I do see a a few split in so I'm just gonna like nip those ones that I see and I'm gonna slightly point cut because sometimes everything's not the same length so you really want to get all up and through that section and just point cut just to give that other stuff that's not caught up yet a chance to be snipped as well because trimming your hair does promote growth just like when you trim flowers and trees it's gonna help you I got a lot of split ends up and through there, so I'm just point cutting. I don't know why I just dropped that in the front. <laughs> so I'm gonna move on and now section another vertical section. Coming out, bending it like a fan just so we can see everything. And then just slightly go around. Fanning it out really does help you be able to see what you're doing. Okay, so there's still some split ends up in there. So now, since I'm not really trying to take off all that, I could either do specific ones or I could just point cut sporadically through the bottom of this section in hopes that some of those split ends come off. And you just wanna turn your shears at a slight diagonal, not like too vertically all up in there unless you're really not trying to take off nothing. Now, if you want to, after doing that, you can comb back through the section and, and just give it another good pull out and see what you're working with. Because some of them might be in a different position and you might be able to get to them a little bit better. Dang, that's a whole tree branch. That's pretty cool. So I'm satisfied with the damage coming off. So I'm just going to throw that back there and keep on moving forward. Got this little piece left back here. Now these little pieces down here that keep falling, y'all, I finally figured it out what it is that's causing breakage back here and it's my freaking necklace. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like I love wearing this, I never take it off and I noticed that some of my strands was wrapped around it and then I pulled some of my hair up and like all my hairs right here is hella short. Then recently I had a client who needed a trim same for her she had on a gold chain and her hair looked like somebody went like this right under her chain so if you have breakage back there and you're wondering what the hell is going on and why it's probably not ponytails if you don't wear ponytails that often but it could be your chain if you're wearing a gold chain girl check your necklace it might have some hairs wrapped around it i'm just like what why like i don't ever take this off i sleep it in everything so it's pulling out my hairs so boom, just gonna go around. Then go back through just to see. So. Now, we're in the front. See, this is like where my most uneven is, so I'm just going to look at it and see what needs to come off. Because these are all types of lengths right now. And there's just no way I'm going to get all up in through here. Coolness. So now we're going to do this side right here. Repeat the same steps. Just do vertical sections. And then comb it out. It's always hard figuring out which way to hold this at first. Just because 
I don't know, it's not my dominant side, so it feels weird. But just take your time, figure it out. Now, we're gonna do the top, and this is where the camera tried to play me the last time, so forgive me for that once again. Um, but I'm showing you again, so it's all good. It's not that deep. So, literally doing the same exact thing. Vertical sections. And we're just going to comb it out like so. And then we're gonna bend our fingers and just halfway close the scissors. And then I'm just gonna nitpick out a few that definitely need to be cut. This is just like the top, so I don't really want it to be too stair-steppy by cutting off a lot. Okay, then just do that all over again, just to see if you see something else. Now going in another vertical section, taking the comb, making sure everything is even and straight. Now I'm gonna do this whole like triangle piece all as one, except I'm just going to focus on the bottom. Now we're gonna repeat the same exact thing to this side. Put all that to the back and work our way forward just in the same exact way, doing diagonal sections, I mean vertical sections, and take in the comb to smooth it out. Once again, just make sure we smooth it on out again, just to see if we may have missed anything or if anything is popping out a little bit more. Next section. See, this is the kind of stuff that happens when you have split ends, unnecessary tangles. It's because like your hair is split and then it's just like catching. So if you're noticing your hair is tangling a lot more than normal, no matter what, it's probably because you need a trim. The longer you wait, the more you have to cut. You are not exempt from split ends. <laughs> so go get your trim before you have to cut off even more. Trust me, you are not trying to end up with no asymmetrical haircut like I had to do a long time ago. <sighs> so I'm just going all up and through this one because this whole area is a hot mess. Okay, now we're gonna do this whole section just to finish it all off. And then we're gonna even out, you know, the bottoms and stuff. Dang, I kinda went ham on that piece just because it's just too bad. <laughs> okay, so now that we're done, I'm just gonna straighten out my part. And then we're gonna do everything, even it out as a whole. I have so much static in my hair. Maybe I should put some serum in it. Just to kind of diffuse the static situation, I'm gonna use some 100 proof from Dry Bar.
Okay, so now I'm just going to smoothly with the fine side of the comb, and I'm just going to make sure everything is kind of like as smooth and straight down as possible. Just so when I get the outline of the bottom all the way around, everything is in line as much as possible, as much as I can help it anyway. And I'm not even really finna create no line. I'm just gonna snip off anything that just looked too out of pocket. I should move this out the way so you can see. It's not even too bad. So I'm just gonna like. Can't believe all my hair color is almost gone. The front just kind of like, you know, and then the back. It's like, wait, all of this longer stuff back here. So now we're gonna do the same thing. Make sure with the fine side of the comb. Oops, there goes the hoops. Dang, it's heck of split ends all up and through this little section. I'm just seeing any leftover stuff and kind of snipping it off because like, what's the point? <laughs> okay, so. Maybe if I do it this way. Okay, so we got the front that goes like this. Technically, it's just not. And then this is all, this long part is like my back. But I'm not trying to have like this. I want my hair to go like this. I mean, not like a VB, but just some type of curve. So now I can show y'all the back. Just really quick, I wanted to give you another close-up because I gave you a close-up at first. So you see how this is like, I could, but it looks a lot less than before. Okay, so this is about as much as I can see. I can't really see. So if I see anything else after editing this video, then that's just, I'm gonna fix that after the fact. So I can't really tell tell, you know, but you can tell that all of this is the back and all of this is the front. So it just kind of goes like that. But when it's in the front and you have, you know, your little swoop de dupes <laughs> that's when you're gonna get that whole like layered bend situation because we did vertical sections and we just did a light, you know, dusting. Now my hair is not getting tangled. Now it feels really good. And when your hair gets tangled, you're not causing, you know, you're causing a little bit more breakage. So now that we've trimmed off what would have been snagging and possibly breaking even more of our undamaged hair off. You know, just get a trim because the longer you wait, the more you have to cut off. And <laughs> you might end up like me with a freaking asymmetrical haircut. Y'all remember my asymmetrical haircut? My first video ever. Go watch it, y'all. It was a how to wrap your hair video and I had bangs and like an asymmetrical an asymmetrical haircut because I had a relaxer and I had hair color. No, I'm not. I don't have, I barely have a little bit of hair color. I will be coloring my hair soon, doing a full on makeover. But yes, my hair is all natural now. I don't have no more relaxer because I've been keeping up with my trims. I keep on this regular schedule, like month and a half-ish to two months. Or just look at them. If it needs some TLC, if they looking a little frayed, then trim your hair because it needs to be trimmed. Because when you do stuff like this and you're styling and you're detangling, if you have split ends, it's going to snag and catch on another piece of hair because we have like cuticle shinkles on our hair strand. So it's just going to like catch. And then when you're detangling, you're going to break off even more hair. 
So trims help with being able to detangle, it helps with make your curls pop a lot more, and it helps you grow your hair to a fuller, more healthy looking amount of hair so that all of your hair is going to be consistently the same length. So those are my benefits, tips and tricks to trimming your hair and why you should trim your hair. Um, and like I said, if you haven't gotten a trim since my last video and you're not going to get a trim after this, just know that you're setting yourself up for failure and you're going to have to cut off more when you finally do get ready to cut off. So you might as well just do a light load dusting every six to eight weeks, you know, just a little bit. You don't have to take off too much. Just make sure you take off something, especially the most damaged parts, especially where you have the most breakage. Just check your hair, do a little quick analysis, and if you have to, take your time and really just sit there and watch a movie and just be like, you know, do your thing, girl. Or go pay a professional to trim your hair or to give you a full-on haircut. If you need a full-on haircut and you need somebody and you're in the Bay Area, definitely go see my girl, Queen. I haven't even seen her yet and I miss her and I need to go see her. But yes, get yourself a trim or a haircut. Now is the perfect time, especially if you really need it. Why not do it right now, you know? But either way it goes, trimming your hair is gonna be such a big thank you from your hair to you. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned something and I hope this inspires you to go get a hair trim and a haircut. <laughs> and um, let me know if you guys have any video suggestions or any questions, leave them down below. And if you have not subscribed yet, and you like me, and you like my personality, and you like what you just saw on my channel, then make sure you go ahead and subscribe if I fit you know, what you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.